delegation of South African women has arrived in Lebanon as part of the Africa Muslims Agency More Than a Meal campaign. The campaign provides food and water to displaced people in 14 countries across the globe. That includes Syrian and Palestinian refugees. To speak to us more about this, I'm joined by one of the volunteers, Hasina Katrada. She joins me live from the Bekaa Valley in Lebanon. Hasina, thank you very much for speaking to us. What's the purpose of the delegation to the refugee camps in Lebanon, and, and what's the situation on the ground there? Hi, and uh, welcome. Thanks for, for crossing to us live here at the Abu Sharif refugee camp. And we in the Bekaa Valley, which is the area that hosts the highest number of refugees in Lebanon. Now, Lebanon is the country that has the highest number of refugees. And we here today on our last day uh, at the last refugee camp, which is called the Al Sharif refugee camp. And it's in the district of Arsal. Uh, Arsal has about 180 refugee camps. Um, mainly because it lies on the border with Syria. So it's easily accessible to Syrians uh, who fled the war and have arrived here in Lebanon and are living here now um, as refugees. It's a dire situation, and that's why the Africa Muslims Agency um, has programs running here that provide uh, food and aid, medical assistance um, to the refugee families, um, which... Um, many of them, you know, have absolutely very little on a day-to-day -day basis. So the more than a meal campaign is what we're here to, um, you know, to watch in action. So today we uh, distributed uh, dignity packs to the women in the camp and uh, also food and uh, treats for the children. Um, and it's, uh, we've done this starting in Beirut on Wednesday and moving a, we went to the north on uh, Thursday and then we spent the night overnight at the camp in the Bekaa Valley um, which was a fantastic experience. Hasina, what's been the impact of the campaign to those who've benefited um, and, and what message do you want to send uh, to people watching? I think that people here really need to be heard um, and really need the assistance. Um, and we have really no idea of the magnitude of the suffering here. Um, you know, how very little uh, children survive on. Uh, there's a lot of malnutrition here, a lot of children that need medical assistance, um, you know, uh, access to education. And, uh, you know, one of the big and most important things is giving these children access to education um, and food and shelter. Now, the refugee camps are not in a great state. Um, there's a lot, uh, you know, uh, aid organizations like Africa Muslim Agency um, come and provide uh, better housing for the, for the refugees. But it's very basic, you know, it's a, it's a tiny space. A lot of the families share these homes with eight, six to eight children. Uh, it's very rare to find a small family here. And remember, these are people that have walked between anywhere between 20 and 50 hours to get here. Um, we spoke to a family yesterday um, that walked from about 11 o'clock at night and reach Lebanon at 5 a.m. the next morning. And that's like one of the shorter journeys. 60% of people that come across to Lebanon from Syria walk. So, you know, it could be anywhere between 20 and 50 hours. Hasina, last time uh, we spoke when the group was in Afghanistan, we talked about the, the reason behind this uh, delegation being comprised of women only um, and the importance of reaching out to those affected most who are women and children. How have you been received and, and how has uh, your delegation been able to, to really make touch with people and, and, and share stories more intimately perhaps than, than an all-male delegation? One of the me more than a meal campaigns projects is a dignity pack for women. And inside that pack 
are sanitary pads, uh, tampons, deodorant, um, toothpaste, uh, body cream, all the things that would give women a sense of dignity. So, um, you know, and with the children, we've been so warmly received. I mean, at a camp earlier today, I met a little girl who has the same name as my daughter. And when I told her that, um, she clung to me and she sobbed, um, not wanting me to leave her. And her mom said to her, you know, am I not your mommy anymore? You know, you want to go with Hasina. And she said, uh, yes, I want to go with her. So, this, so much, uh, you know, despair. But at the same time, uh, it's really very touching. Um, the children are really, you know, go about their day happily. Um, they're very keen and, uh, you know, they feel like they've been forgotten. And I think that was one of the big things for me, that a lot of the children said, uh, you know, no one ever comes to visit us and no one comes to play with us. So um, we have the delegation has uh, quite a few young women in it. And, you know, we played lots of games with them. And uh, so it was not just about, you know, providing relief and aid, but also giving them uh, some kind of uh, love and care and warmth and uh, reaching out to them. And of course, at the, ultimately, at the end of the day, um, to take home the message that, you know, we, we need to share more and we need to reach out more. And um, hopefully we're going to get that message through. Well, thank you, Hasina, very much for the work that you are doing uh, in Lebanon and in the region at large. And uh, good luck for, for the rest of your journey. Uh, that was Hasina Kathrada, part of the African Muslims Agency's More Than a Meal campaign.